Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alina, and today we are going to continue our prep, <laughs> or at least my prep, for this really big trip that I have uh, coming up in so little time. And I thought I would do something that I very rarely do on my channel, which is <laughs> a haul. <laughs> So a lot of these things are brand new that I got especially for my trip, but a few items are repurchases because I love them so much. The top thing that I'm just very excited about is this incredible bag. Uh, it's a toiletry bag. It's by Max Change. And what makes this little thing so special, first of all, is that it's totally contained. I find that sometimes they make a similar type of bag, but the sides are open and I find that if you're carrying things like shampoo or other kinds of liquids, there is a chance that they might burst and then go all over your clothes. God knows how many times I've had that happen. What's really especially cool about it is that it's kind of in three different sections, if you guys can see, and it has a little hook that you can hang up let's say in your bathroom door or just in your room. It's just constantly organized so you don't have to take things out if you don't want to. Everything's already in its place because that's one of the other things that I find is really helpful when I'm traveling to multiple destinations. So up here you could just like put hair ties or whatever little things you want to put. Uh, in this section here I probably put things like hairspray, hairbrush. Here I could probably put like my skincare and any kinds of things that aren't going to burst <laughs> with liquid. And then the last pocket I need to rearrange my hand here. Uh, the last pocket is obviously really great for any kinds of liquids or things that are more likely to open uh, when the bag is in transit. So this is really great because it's easy to clean if something does burst. It has an extra zipper and once again it's all self contained. So if you guys are looking for a great toiletry bag, I would highly recommend this. I think this was like $25 as well. So really well worth it. I'm really excited that I have it for my trip and yeah, no more exploding shampoo all over my clothes. Now another bag that I got for my trip, sorry if the light is really weird here. We just got a lot of colors going on. It's just this simple black backpack and it's from a brand called New Billy. And I was just looking for a new backpack that could serve as a good carry-on and then also be a good day pack for the days that I'll be filming because I have my drone. <laughs> I have two cameras that I want to carry along. So I wanted to have a um, simple sort of backpack that had a few sort of compartments. So here there's one like for your laptop on this other side. There's this uh, mesh sort of pocket if you wanted to separate things. I can put my drone in the main sort of portion. Then there's a second zipper, another compartment that has a good sort of organizer for any kind of documents. And then up here there's just another little pocket for the things that you really want to be able to grab and go. And the other thing that I really liked about this backpack is that it had this travel strap, just have this strapped onto the back of your suitcase so you don't have to be carrying it. I'm really happy with this and see myself using it a lot. So nice backpack. And last in the bag category, what I ended up getting was this fairly large electronics organizer from BagSmart. This was something I didn't really even know existed until I was just in the depths of Amazon. And basically it has three different levels here where you open up this first part and this is genius like this is genius this is for your wires <laughs> you know all the different freaking cords that come with all of our electronics and heaven forbid you lose one and further on down here this I think is just like another cord organizer for the larger ones and then this over here is super smart because for anybody who does a lot of video or photography content, uh, you know, all of your SD cards, SIM cards for your phone, or just all the little bits that you want um, protected and all in one place. It has an organizer for that. And then 
in this main part, or actually let's start right here. This is actually great even though I don't have an iPad. If you did have an iPad, you could just open it up, put that in there. It's kind of a padded sort of pocket. But this is wonderful because this is basically where I will put my cameras, I'll put my external sound. I think I will get a lot of use out of this, even just keeping it in my place here. I know where everything is. I don't have to have 20 different spots for 50 different things. So I think this was around $30. And if you wanted to, they have smaller ones or they have even larger ones. But I felt like this would hold everything that I need. So I really like this bag. I'm moving into electronics. Uh, something that I was actually sent last year by this company named Aki, a lipstick power bank because it is actually pretty small and I do carry this in my purse quite a bit if I think I'm gonna you know, run out of juice by the end of the day and might not have access to an external sort of plug. So I think this is uh, especially handy for just your day bag for your smaller items like your phone or whatever else. I am thinking of getting a larger power bank for the days that I am extensively shooting and need a lot of power because I don't think this would be quite enough. But if you do want something that's smaller and lighter for just your phone, I think this is great. Now speaking about travel cameras, this is a debatable subject, but I am starting to really, really love this uh, DJI Osmo Pocket. So as you guys can see, it's actually in its case right now. So if you open it, it just comes out like this. And it's just the coolest little camera. Like this thing can actually shoot 4K. <laughs> and uh, it's very customizable for being, you know, kind of an amateur entry range sort of camera. I got this on Amazon as well, but just to turn it on for you guys, it's, it's pretty cool. Let's just see here. So cool. So people have had uh, really good reviews of it as a vlogging camera, even though the biggest complaint that uh, people usually have is that the sound isn't so great. The sound uh, is just like right here at the front. And yes, to be honest, if you were in a really noisy place or if there was a lot of wind or if let's say you put it on, you know, a table a few feet away from you, yeah, the sound wouldn't be that great. So if that's what you're looking to do. This probably isn't the camera for you, but if you just see yourself going on vacation, want a very small, easy, but powerful camera that you can just throw into your bag and uh, be able to get incredible content, I would highly recommend this. And one thing that I do want to mention that if you guys are interested in using this as a more serious camera, there are ways to do it. Let me show you how. So <laughs> I have a lot of different things here and actually I didn't plan on this, but I will link all of this stuff down below because I do have actually a pretty cool setup to get really good external sound and you know carry it on a selfie stick. So this is my selfie stick. I've had this for probably three, four years and I think it's really good. It's from AirSpark and uh, it's nice because it can really extend i'm not gonna do it the whole way but it extends even more probably like three four feet so it's really good if you want to get like above a crowd or have it further away from you so what i do is i just attach this to this and i'm not gonna put my camera with it today because that does take some effort and then just recently dji finally heard the masses and decided to do an external sound output that plugs into the bottom oof, of the DJI. I have a Rode Micro mic. So what I do to set that up, I have the little bracket that uh, came with the mic and I just put that on the top of the bracket. You just tighten it and there you go. <laughs> Your DJI Osmo Pocket has really good external sound and if you wanted a larger screen to make sure that you're in focus because I will say on the little screen it's very easy to miss 
if you're in and out of focus. That, that would actually be my one uh, complaint about the camera is that sometimes if you're just carrying just the small camera itself, sometimes it's hard to see if you're in focus, but the more you use it, I think the easier it is to tell um, what's going on. So I think this is actually a really good option, especially with the gimbal stabilization. And yeah, I'm a big fan, I will link everything down below. All right, so last item that I have for electronics is my first pair of earbuds. I have been buying uh, all my, I guess, earphones or whatever you call them uh, from this company called Empow for a really long time because I think that they are such good quality for the price. So I wanted to keep supporting them because I think they have really great products and this was my first pair of earbuds and as you guys can see like it's a great place to just hold them so you don't lose them or even with the wire ones that I had they'd get tangled in my purse because I wouldn't put them in the case. These ones you have to put in the case so that earbuds charge but it's cool because it's like magnetic so they stay in there and then as soon as you take the earbuds out of the case they automatically turn on and pair to your phone or whatever it is that you paired with and then as soon as you put it back in the case it uh, disconnects from your phone or whatever it is you're using and they start charging. Now second to last item, this I've had for so long this goes with me <laughs> everywhere I go and this thing is so amazing that I recommend it to everybody even though it's, I mean, it's just a coffee tumbler, but it's a great coffee tumbler. It is by Contigo. This is a super popular brand on Amazon and I think this is my second or third one because they do last so long. The only thing that I find sometimes happens is that the paint uh, chips off a little bit, but this thing has been through hell and back with me like I've had this for sure over a year and I just you know toss it everywhere I probably dropped it on the ground how many times it actually keeps your liquid or whatever you put in there really really hot and it's actually fairly light I don't like the ones that are super bulky or super thick sort of um, you know material I want it still to be fairly uh, travel friendly so that's the first thing that I really like. Second thing is that it does have a lock feature. So even if you accidentally have this button pressed, which releases the liquid, nothing's gonna spill out. Everything's just contained. And then once again, when you are drinking and it is unlocked, the liquid only comes out if you press this button. This is one way that I try to, you know, take coffee to go in one of these instead of, you know, getting a plastic cup or whatever every time or even saving money and just bringing coffee from home. I think this is just a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous invention. <laughs> and last but not least, you know your girl loves physical travel guidebooks, mainly from Lonely Planet. I always get a guidebook if I'm going to a destination for a fairly long time or that I want to have extensive knowledge of. So obviously I just picked up this bad boy and it's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty thick for the world's uh, largest country but I think this will really come in use not only for those long train rides on the Trans-Siberian Express but to just have a handheld sort of guide for all the different places that I'm going to go. All right guys, that brings us to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And like I said before, I will be linking everything in the description if you're interested in checking it out. And if you're here for the first time and enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys know when I post a new video. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until I see you guys next time, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.